Salama. I'm the state senator for District 1 and I'm running for election this year to continue supporting policies to grow southeast Nebraska. So for me, I looked at the Nebraska legislature and saw a real gap where there were some younger senators involved, but there really weren't any younger rural senators, especially with the departure and term limitation of some senators out. So for me, it was about providing that younger rural perspective, because so much of what we do in the Nebraska legislature is getting our young people to come back to our rural communities. So why not have some firsthand experience on the floor for that? Agriculture is the backbone of District 1, and I've fought over the last two years to make sure that solid agricultural policy is passed in the legislature. So to get that Farm Bureau endorsement really does mean the world for me, and to have the backs of our farmers for them to have my back as well, it, it means a lot. Those undecided voters in District 1 should vote for me because even in the face of some tough times in the last two years in Southeast Nebraska, we've had the floods of 2019 and now COVID-19 that has thrown our economy through a loop. I've still been able to get results in the face of that for District 1 that are unprecedented. With LB 1107, we scored over $1 billion in new property tax relief over the next five years, uh, mobilized millions of dollars for federal broadband expansion, and provided a new business incentives program that has a rural tier in it to ensure that even our smallest towns can access business incentives to get businesses to come and stay in their part of the state. When I got involved in uh, the Nebraska legislature, I had one simple goal, and that was to support policies to grow southeast Nebraska. That's my guiding principle moving forward in supporting policies for structural property tax relief. LB 1107 made some great progress in the right direction, but we still need that structural reform. I can assure you that I'll be a strong rural voice on that debate. Uh, also, increasing the funding available for broadband expansion, uh, ensuring that our rural schools have the funding they need to succeed, and representing the values that our district holds dear, from supporting pro-life policies to defending the Second Amendment. That falls under that guiding principle of growing Southeast Nebraska, so I'm happy to support those issues. My biggest message that I'd give to Farm Bureau members is in District 1, there is one true advocate for agriculture in Southeast Nebraska. It's me, Julie Slama, and I'd appreciate your vote on November 3rd.